everybody. Today we have gaming laptop Acer Nitro AN515-54 series. It's an Intercore i7 9th gen laptop with graphics RTX 2060 and beautiful screen, 144 Hz refresh rate. Let's take it apart. Let's see what we can fix, replace or upgrade. Start with bottom screws. So now we have to separate the bottom from the palm rest. So find the gap where you can put the tool in and work your way around the edge to disconnect all the clips. All right, and the bottom is out. That's our bottom case. Now we can access all the internal components. So start with disconnecting the battery. Maybe let's take it out first. It's gonna be easier. So if the battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. And now let's pull out the connector. So that's our battery. Here, here we have the model number. Here we can see our RAM memory slots. So if the memory doesn't work or you would like to upgrade, then just spread those arms. And that's how we can pull it out. So that's our RAM memory. Here we can see our Wi-Fi card. So if the Wi-Fi doesn't work, you can replace it. Disconnect the antenna wires. And now we can take it out. Here we have the model number. Here under those covers, we should have our storage. So one slot is unoccupied, that's for the second drive. If you would like to add upgrade, the first slot is occupied by your storage. So that's the actual NVMe SSD drive. So if you would like to upgrade, then you can do it. Okay, here we can see our DC power jack. So if your laptop isn't getting the power or the jack is physically broken, you can replace it. So disconnect it from the motherboard. And you can pull it out. Here we have the part number on the white sticker. Now let's take out our speakers. So if the sound is bad, you can replace your speakers. Let's connect from the motherboard. So that's one. Let's connect from the motherboard. So that's our other speaker. Here we have the part numbers on those white stickers. Okay, now let's take out our heatsink and fans. So sometimes if the cooling, if the laptop is overheating and you would like to repaste it, or the fans don't spin, the heatsink is bent, or fans are making grinding noise, you would like to replace it. So this is how we can do it. Unscrew all the screws.
Now disconnect it from the motherboard. Now gently lift the heat sink. Okay, here we have, sh here we should have the part number. Here we can see our processor and the graphics, GPU. They both soldered on the motherboard, so if they don't work, you have to replace the whole motherboard. So now let's take out the motherboard, disconnect all the cables. Now let's take out all the screws. and disconnect the I.O. board. So that's our motherboard. Here we have the part number. Here we have our I.O. board with the USB port and the audio port. So if these ports don't work, you can replace this board. So unscrew this one screw here and you can pull it out. So that's our I.O. board. Here we have the part number. Now let's see. Let's disconnect the hinges, the screen assembly from the palm rest. So unscrew the hinge screws. Now gently unfold the hinges. And we can disconnect it. Okay, so that's our palm rest keyboard touchpad assembly. Let's see if we can take out the touchpad. So to take out the touch, but you have to take off this bracket and then slide it down. That's how to take it out. Here we have the part number. Let's take a look at the keyboard. The keyboard is riveted to the palm rest. So if you have to replace it, you have to buy the whole palm rest keyboard assembly. If you need parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. That's our screen. Let's try to pull it out. Let's see if we can replace just the LCD. So take off the front bezel. Sometimes you have to wiggle that plastic to disconnect all the clips. Okay, so that's our front bezel. Here we have the part number. Now take out the screws for the hinges. Unscrew those LCD rails on the top. Now 
out and take out our screen. Let's screw how it's damaged. So I'm gonna have to put on oh it's already broken. Alright. So now on the back disconnect disconnect the video cable. That's our screen. Here we have the model number. And that's our back cover with the video cable. Here we have the part number. So you can replace the video cable if you need to. It connects to the webcam. So that's our video cable. Here we have the part numbers. That's our webcam. Very fragile. So, all right. And here we have our rails. They still attach to the screen because of the adhesive. So you have to find the end of the adhesive strip and then pull it out. Be gentle, don't break that strip, otherwise you won't be able to. All right, so one rail is out. That's our second rail, so they belong to the back cover and the screen looks like that. That's just the LCD. All right. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.